Royal Liverpool. So the last couple of opens there, um, the one before the last one uh, was bone dry. Um, am I right in recollecting that Tiger didn't hit a driver all week, just hit irons off, off the tee and positioned and chased it out there the whole time? And then we play the last time whenever Rory won and the course was, there was no wind and it was soft and uh, Rory played unbelievable. So it was two different, past two opens have been two contrasting as far end of the spectrum as you could get. Um, the golf course, when you stand on that first tee, you've got out of bounds right, so you want to pull a little bit left, then you pull a little bit left, and you go into the rough over there and then try and not get a flyer. <laughs> That's usually the way I play the first hole. Um, but it's, it it's, um, gives you opportunities where they're not all long beasts of holes. Um, 15, I believe, has been redesigned, great little par three surrounded by bunkers. So look forward to getting back there and seeing how that's uh, worked out. And then 18, you know, you're almost going over the corner with the out of bounds there and you got to make sure you, you your, your alignment for your second shot, you got to pick a mark on the, on the uh, grandstands there and commit to it. Very easy to sort of take your eyes off it and, and sort of leak one or I had a bad shot that you want. But it's, it's a really fair golf course, you know, it gives you opportunities that you can make birdies on, but it's also going to bite you really quick if you get it wrong. Hardest hole in the hole, well, it's all going to depend on conditions. Um, you know, if the wind blows, if it's firm and fast, it, it just depends. Um, there is bunkers there that, that are going to gobble up any ball. That, it's one of those places where the ball seems to be drawn towards all the bunkers. They just, just get in there and then leave you with no shot from there. So the hardest hole, oh, maybe the eighth, um, it's going to play really, really tough. Um, but all of them, again, it just depends. You know, you could have... You can have, like any Lynx golf course, if the wind's blowing straight down one day, it's an easy hole blowing straight into it, just turns into a brute of a hole. So, weather dependent. I wish I had that crystal ball. Um, you know, you're, obviously Rory's going to go back there with really good memories of, of, of winning. Um, but you got, just the depth is, is so much up at the top, you know, and, um, you know, you had um, Cameron Young finish second there last year at St Andrews. He's got a, Unbelievable golf game. Um, you've got, obviously, Jordan, we know what he can do, JT. There's so many guys that, that um, you know, are going to be there and going to challenge. Oh, my favourite one out of all of them, possibly. If you take Port Rush, Royal Port Rush out of the equation, my favourite open venue, again, behind St Andrews, because it's St Andrews, St Andrews, it's Royal Birkdale. It's just so good. It's, it, Every way, the fairways, the great, just Royal Birkdale is just the best. And then you've got um, Hillside there, and then you've got Southport and Ainsdale. It's a real mecca of air, of courses all around there. Wallasey, you've got all sorts of unbelievable golf courses right in that little small area. What's it like to win the Claret Jug 2011? I am, um, you know, rarely in our sport. Do, you, do your dreams come true? You know, we all have aspirations to greatness, to winning tournaments, to winning this, to winning that. Very few of us actually get to fulfill those. And winning the Open Championship, for me, as a young kid, when I just started playing the game at the Gannon Golf Club in, in Northern Ireland, I used to go into the big tree and hit balls there and go on, you know, I'm coming down the 18th and I'm hitting it, this is a five iron into the last green at the Open and, you know, on the putting green or in chipping, this is for the Open and all that sort of stuff. And um, lo and behold, a long time after it, all those dreams and came, came to fruition, that winning the Open at, uh, at Royal St George's. And, you know, as one that I'd always had chances to win the Open before, um, messed up a couple of times, got outplayed a couple of times. Um, but at Royal St George's that week, I had a very calm demeanour. I was very comfortable with what I was doing, and um, and I obviously played very well. So, you know, to eventually get my hands on the trophy and my name on the Claret Jug was something that I'd been after since I was maybe 10 years old. So to do it, um, as I say, was a dream come true. Um, well, after I hit my tee shot, I hit my tee shot on the fairway on 18, and I believe I had a three shot lead at that stage. And Dustin Johnson, who was playing with DJ in the last group, he hit his, his ball right into the rough. So I figured he's probably not going to make three from there. So I'm going to have a three-shot lead and I get over my second shot. And um, I'm hitting, coincidentally, I'm hitting a five-iron into the green. And I pick a, a post out back left, like 30 yards over the back, 
of left um, of 18, uh, knowing that I couldn't get there, and, but that was my target. And I hit this five iron, and it never left the white post. It just was straight on the white post, and the ball's in the air, and I see where it's finished, and I go, okay. So then I'm walking from my second shot, and people are starting to roar and cheer, and I am put my hands up and said, thank you so much, and all that sort of stuff, and the reception was incredible. But up there the whole time, I was thinking people at the same time, I was thinking, well, how many pots have I got from here to win the Open? Four, five, six, well, how many have I got? And I still hadn't figured it out by the time I got to the golf ball. But I just sort of said, I think you've got enough. You're all right. So I had like a 30-footer and 40-footer and I hit it, I don't know, eight foot past and then left the next one one inch short or something in the jaws or whatever. Didn't really care because I'm about to win the Open Championship. Experience the 2023 Open with Premier Golf.